German explosives. Definitely untidy, anyhow. The forthcoming world airspeed record attempt has involved a great deal of tuning up of the jet engines of the meteors concerned. In fact, each plane and engine has been receiving as careful treatment as a Derby favourite. Evidently nothing is being overlooked, for the final fraction of speed is to be got out of these machines. Meanwhile, almost daily bulletins have been issued from Gloucester, Manston or Hearn Bay, and so far as we know, the only thing really wrong has been the weather. A number of test flights have been made, and meteors have been seen jogging along at about 520 miles an hour. Britannia is one of the machines which may set up a new record. Although, not unnaturally, the experts can't commit themselves to a definite figure, speeds of well over 600 are anticipated by some when the attempts are made at Hearn Bay. The course over the sea is close to that famous landmark, the twin towers of the early English 7th century church at Reculver. Now the most modern methods of precision timing have been set up there at the finishing post. The record runs will be timed by film. In fact, there'll be a photo finish. Already the timing camera and a still camera have been in action when preliminary runs have been made up and down the course. What's wanted now is the right weather for obviously flights at unknown speeds, low over the sea, must have the best atmospheric conditions. Mr. Eric Greenwood on the left and Group Captain Wilson are the pilots out for the record. Britain wishes them good luck in their daring attempt. <laughs> 